All right, now Gambling God here. If you're wondering why I'm in the same outfit as the last video, um, it's because I haven't changed my clothes. I have been in a parking lot for over 24 hours. That's correct. Uh, Gambling God spending his uh, days and nights in a parking lot uh, selling estate items to uh, prospective buyers asking... Oh, we had, a, we had a situation. Situation. The selfie stick has malfunctioned. And, and as, you, as you probably can imagine, the selfie stick is very difficult to get the selfie stick to malfunction. But in the world of the gambling god, that's no problem. So yeah, same outfit, same number, same hood. It's all good. We are powering into our second day of the estate sale, bunny bunny. And then we're going to actually take the estate sale into overtime. We're going into Monday, okay? Because what else am I doing? Okay, but 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 hanging out in a parking parking lot in 30 degree weather in November. Get on my level, Anthony D. The only view from yesterday. Very disappointed in my 12 viewers, my friends. I, I mean, at least click on it. Let me think that you watched it. You know, you could just click right off of it. Make it look good. One view. I mean, I'm sitting in a, in a car, sleeping overnight, <laughs> selling my father's bathrobes, you could at least like, you know, like look at, at the video once. I mean, is this, this is a lot to ask, right? So we're gonna review last night, which was a good night in my opinion, because I am following the uh, scores because I'm trapped in a car. So what else am I doing? But, uh, you know, tracking scores, sleeping in the back seat, which, you know, is not, you know, it's, it's, it's really, it's, I think it's, it's, it's basically equivalent and maybe a slight step up from the, the sleeping in the jail. You know, we, we're, we're doing a book on the jail, all right? And the jail, vi jail book will be uh, informative. It will discuss how my first cellmate would fall asleep uh, against the wall with his jumper on, how I found him nude on the toilet at two in the morning. Uh, we will talk about Andre the pastor who cut my hair. We will talk about Buff who told me about um, how they uh, how they smoke weed in the laundry room in, uh, in prison. We'll talk about all my friends, Dublin, Twin, Soto, uh, mainly black men uh, in jail. And luckily the black men like me, not sexually, but you know that you have succeeded and arrived in the jail context when the black men offer you food. See, you would think that I would be the one being being raped or 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 extorted, beaten. You know, you watch Shawshank Redemption. But but th this wasn't the case. You know, I was I was protected. So I, I think if I was there longer, eventually I might have had to give some sexual favors out. I don't know. It didn't, it wasn't going that way. You know, the showering, it was a private scene. You know, no one kind of looking over. There was no like, you know, gang mentality, no signs like, you know what they do? They do this, this, the, the Tupac with the, you know, with the West Side. Um, so we'll go over the games. First game right off the bat, as fixed as can be, New York Knicks defeat Dallas. We had the Knicks to cover. I didn't. I wasn't so audacious as to tell you to take them to win. Um, I stopped doing drugs, so I wouldn't have ever uh, advocated that. But I did say take the Knicks to cover, and they not only covered, they won outright. Uh, Porzingis had to do what was right. They they let him out of New York, and so he threw the game. It, it's just that simple. So yeah, Knicks take Dallas out, totally fixed. Uh, Detroit at Indiana. We had Indiana. I thought that was pretty straightforward. Uh, Indiana's tough at home, and they are the better team. Memphis at Orlando, we had Orlando. Again, uh, I think Orlando owed that one, was owed that one. They uh, they had lost a few in a row. Um, Memphis not, has not been playing too well on and off, hot and cold. Not a good team, a lot of young players. Uh, Cleveland at Washington, Cleveland won, surprised me there. Tristan Thompson 
uh, has been uh, playing like a man possessed. And again, um, Thompson carried the day. Um, uh, Washington didn't get it done, which which surprised me, but uh, we didn't hit on that one. Sacramento and Atlanta, we had Sacramento to win. I uh, hope you joined us on that one. They've been playing well. Seems like the team is gelling. We did take Sacramento to win. We missed on Toronto at New Orleans. Toronto's just on a tear. Uh, Pascal Siakam uh, has done everything that Kawhi Leonard did, and apparently, and then some. Siakam has replaced Leonard as the star of the show there. Toronto uh, ran off by 20 something consecutive points on New Orleans in the second period and never looked back. Go, we hit on Golden State at Minnesota. Golden State covered, took the game to overtime because every game goes to overtime. Lost, but covered the uh, substantial 11 and a half point spread. So two double digit uh, dogs covered last night. Keep that in mind. Philly at Denver. I had uh, Denver to cover the five. Rarely do I pick that. They didn't, but I did tell you to take them to win. They were trailing, stormed back, won the game by three. I think it was 100 to 97. Didn't cover the five, but did win the game. I did pick them to win. Milwaukee at Utah. I I took Utah to win. They won. That was a winner and a cover. Utah's tough at home. Milwaukee's been uh, very good. They had to give back on that one. Again, this has nothing to do with athletic ability. This just has to do with who has to give back to the bookies. If anyone asks you who won the Milwaukee at Utah game, the answer is Las Vegas. Please keep it in mind. Brooklyn at Portland. I picked Brooklyn. They won the game on the road uh, despite Damian Lillard's 60, correct, 60 points. Not enough. Normally when you see one player score that many points, it means his team loses. Uh, That was, again, true last night as Brooklyn defeated Portland behind Jared Allen's five blocks and Kyrie Irving's. I think it was his 33 points. Yes, I did look out the window quickly because I see my shadow. I have been in the 30-degree cold for 15 hours. I am uh, hallucinating. Miami at the Lakers, I had Miami to cover. Lakers beat them by 15 behind LeBron James and Anthony Davis. That will be a recurring theme all year. Miami uh, was in it for most of the game, did not cover it. Uh, Lakers took it by 15. We missed on that one. So Knicks, winner. Indiana, winner. Orlando, winner. Uh, Sacramento, winner. Golden State, winner. Denver, winner. Utah, winner. Brooklyn, winner. So can't do much better than that. It's about nine wins right there in basketball. Pretty nice night in the NBA. Because I said Boston would beat Detroit in the NHL, of course Detroit beat them. Never trailed. One, four to two. Makes no sense. Boston had to do what was right and fall on the sword. And they did that. Uh, you know, that's why they won the Stanley Cup. Oh, excuse me, that's why they were in the Stanley Cup last year, because they do what's right. They're, they're in Boston, the whole thing with Brady, Boston, blah, blah, blah. All those teams, they get it. They get the joke, the Red Sox, the Curse, the Bambino, you know, the, the whatever his name is, the Pedro Martinez, the Big Poppy, uh, Kurt Schilling. You know, they, they did what was right, and they finally came back around to them. The Boston teams have been doing what's right for quite some time now, and they keep winning. Maybe the Knicks and the Jets can follow suit. I don't know. Anthony D., you know how bad the Knicks are. They stink. But they, they won last night because it was fixed. Vancouver at Winnipeg. I liked Vancouver. Winnipeg won 4-1. to one. I missed on this one. Uh, can't say it any other way. New Jersey at Edmonton. Edmonton beat them 4, I think it was 4-1 to one or 4 nothing. Uh, New Jersey was never in the game. I liked Edmonton there. Uh, go Connor McDavid. In college basketball, the only game I took was Baylor at Washington. I took Washington to win and to cover, and they did. 67-64. College basketball, totally unpredictable. A non-conference game. No rivalry. Uh, no bad blood. No history. Uh, I liked uh, Washington there, and they won the game. On to tonight's action Uh, for November 9, 2019. You have New Orleans at Charlotte. I'm going to take Charlotte plus the one and a half. New Orleans comes off a spanking by Toronto last night. Charlotte tough at home. Take Charlotte to win that game and cover the spread. Houston at Chicago. I'll take Chicago to cover the six and a half. Buy it up to eight and a half. Houston has terrible defense. They don't play defense. Teams will, will play with them all year and be close. Take Chicago to cover the eight and a half. If you're feeling frisky, try them to win. Golden State at Oklahoma. Oklahoma's minus 11 and a half. I'm going to take Golden State plus 13 and a half. I'm not sure they'll win this game. They could. D'Angelo Russell went off last night. I think he had like 53 points, 52 points. Uh, if you want if you want to try them to win, it's possible. Oklahoma City is not the best team in the world. It's very possible Oklahoma City could lose. There is some value. I do like Golden State buying the 11 and a half up to 13 and a half. 
Uh, Dallas at Memphis. You would think Dallas would win this game if they're losing to the Knicks. Don't be so sure. It's very possible Memphis loses this game based on the mentality that people are going to jump on Dallas and say, well, you know, they lost to the Knicks last night. You know, they're not going to lose to Memphis. You'll want to bet, literally, you'll want to bet. Go take Dallas, and you tell me in the third quarter when they're down by 20, okay, how you're feeling, sweetheart, okay? So I'm taking Memphis to cover the 5.5, buy it up to 7.5. In review, Charlotte to win, Chicago to cover, possibly to win. Maybe you put 20 bucks on them. Golden State to cover, possibly to win. 13.5 is a lot of points. I could see Golden State winning. Memphis to cover the 7.5, possibly to win. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not taking Dallas to win. I'm not so sure about that one, but I do like Memphis at least to cover. Hockey. Philadelphia at Toronto. There is value in Philly. I don't think they get it done tonight. Toronto's tough at home. I like the over in this game. Let's go over six and a half. Toronto to win. Possible upset with Philly, but I'm not taking them here. Uh, I will take Toronto to win. Los Angeles Kings at Montreal. I like Montreal to win. I don't see much value in the Kings. This is pretty straightforward. I like Montreal. Uh, that means the Kings will win. Carolina at Ottawa. I think Carolina bounces back. They lost to the Rangers the other night. I like Ottawa. Uh, they're a good up-and-coming team. I don't think they have enough to beat Carolina. Carolina also lost the other night to the, I think it was the Devils as well in an upset. So I think Carolina bounces back here and gets it done at Ottawa. Chicago at Pittsburgh. Chicago's been playing decent. Pittsburgh minus 225. Not a lot of value here. Don't like the game. Maybe put $10 on Chicago. Don't go crazy. Um, don't like the game. I like the over. I, I think both teams can score. Uh, that That's probably your play. Vegas at Washington. A rematch of the Stanley Cup playoffs from two years ago. Some value in Vegas. Washington's very good at home. I think Washington gets it done here uh, in a close one. Possibly goes to overtime because every game goes to overtime. Minnesota at Arizona. There is value in Minnesota. Arizona's playing well. I'll take Arizona in this one. They're playing much better than Minnesota is right now. Uh, let's take Arizona to win that game. Columbus at, uh, at, at Colorado. There's always value in Columbus when they're on the road. Uh, I will take Colorado to beat them. This will be a tight one. Columbus plays that type of, of style. But I'll take Colorado at home to take out Columbus. Be aware, Colorado could easily upset them. Uh, but Colorado does play very well at home. St. Louis at Calgary. I will take St. Louis to win this game. They are on the road. They play well. Calgary's good. Uh, their goalie's not that great. But I do like St. Louis. They're obviously, Stanley Cup champions uh, when they're a dog and they're on the road. I'll take them. That is a very good value play. And last but not least, the Anthony D. Special. Nashville at San Jose. Cannot take San Jose. Will not take San Jose. Cannot see myself taking them for the rest of the year. Their goalie is blind. Let's go Nashville to win outright in San Jose. Let's take the over because Martin Jones is blind. Last but not least, NCAA, Notre Dame at Duke. Let's go with Duke to cover the nine and a half. Notre Dame should blow them out, but I'm done with Notre Dame. They lost two times this year. Screwed me on both. Will not advocate taking them. Let's go Duke plus nine and a half. You want a juicy upset? Let's take Duke to win the game. Throw 25 on it. Why not? I have spent more on less. We'll be back with NFL later on uh, from the parking lot, either tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm ready to hallucinate. Haven't eaten that much today. Going to have a little nibble. I wish you well on this Saturday, November 9, 2019. The Gambling God signing off from the parking lot tonight. Anthony D. San Jose goes down.